run here by Ryan Giggs. Oh, what a goal! And this time, it's a chance that is taken by Aubameyang at the back post. Hazard pulls it down, Giroud sidesteps two and pokes it in! What a start to the second half for Chelsea, and that was a really well taken goal from one of the FA Cup's all-time specialist players, Olivier Giroud. Well, you have to also give a lot of credit to Cesc Fabregas. Hazard. Hazard brings it down brilliantly here. Slips over, still sets up Giroud, but what a great quick beat. Alvester. Game fascinatingly poised now. Minor three to Tom Hamilton! Tom Huddleston, he played a little one two with his centre half. And then made the forward run. Lampard shot. Oh my goodness! Talk about icing the cake. Frank Lampard produces an extraordinary free kick. And when we expected a tight and tense semi final decided by the old goal, maybe. Chelsea lead by four goals to one. Goals for the lines up, and it's one you expect him to be thinking. I'll put it about 20 rows back and buy myself a bit of time. Start your Barcelona preparations now, Chelsea, because you are in the FA Cup final. I do have so much experience of big games in the Chelsea ranks. Drug back. Oh, magnificent! Wembley! It's his ground again. The glory here is Didier Drogba's. And of all his Wembley goals, that's by far the best. Well, did I mention they had power? They certainly have power, but this is about a lot more than that. Great physical strength. Gareth gets himself isolated one-on-one, -on -one, which is difficult. against his former club has fired Stoke City into their first ever FA Cup final. A quite extraordinary afternoon at Wembley. 4-0. Cesc Fabregas, back to Azar. took it away from Costa, it's Matic with the ball driver! Matic takes the net off! That is some strike from the Serbian, to put Chelsea in control and have them heading back to Wembley for the FA Cup final. Well, there's disbelief on the Spurs fans' faces. That was a strike that was unstoppable. Hugo Lloris, no goalkeeper in the world would have saved that. It's rolling back invitingly for Matic to strike. He hits it with his favoured left foot.
as you know. Oh, no! Oh, that is schoolboy's own stuff. Oh, I bet even he can't believe it. Is there anything left from this man to surprise us? That was one of the finest free kicks. Giggs. Great run here by Ryan Giggs. Oh, what a goal! Would you believe it? Ryan Giggs could have taken Manchester United to Wembley. Only 10 men. And just as he did a week ago against Juventus, Giggs strikes after 109 minutes of football. Biceps. Certainly, Dini. He's getting it, Dale Fayo. Oh, brilliant! That's the inspiration that they needed. And Watford aren't out of it yet. Quite an impact from the substitute, who was left out of the starting lineup quite controversially. But a brilliant semi final goal. Watford won the Wolves 2. And nothing he could do about it. Ruddy, a long throw comes in. He's got a lot of time. Gibbs. Goes hell. Sanchez! Arsenal in front. Alexis Sanchez makes the breakthrough. Arsenal have had to be patient, but now they've been rewarded with the opening goal. Sanchez, who's been in outstanding form for Arsene Wenger's team, has given them the lead in this semi-final at Wembley, his 21st goal of the season. Gill, and as far as Beckham, it's Manchester United's turn to attack. Sheringham, Beckham, first blood to Manchester United! David Beckham breaks the deadlock after 16 minutes. Straight to Silva, Edwin van der Sar. And uh, then Carrick giving it away to Torre, who's in for Manchester City. Yeah! It's the blue side of Manchester celebrating the first goal in the semi final, the Manchester derby at Wembley. Mancini unmoved, Ferguson unmoved, but certainly they're moved. Behind the goal that Toure has just put the ball in. It was a defensive catastrophe for Manchester United. First this. Jesus stood and De Bruyne tried to just slide that ball back to him. It was really well read by Zach who cut it out. City look to press again. It's enjoy already. Tunez finds a spare man. Yeah. Just come out with a bit more confidence this time. Lacazette took it well. Here's Bayeri. Forward in some numbers this time. Tip by Pepe. And this time it's a chance that is taken by Aubameyang at the back post. He just prodded it in. And he can forget the earlier miss now. Arteta's team are ahead against Guardiola's men. Martin, you are absolutely right. What confidence to play out through the whole length of the field from Arsenal. In their own 18-yard box, probably a 12-pass move leading to the cross from Pepe. He's come back onto his favoured left foot. He's whipped that ball into the far post area. Bamiang clearly off the shoulder of Carl Walker on side, and then it's a clever finish.